God bless you. I am here as the presidential candidate of the new patriotic party for the 2024 election. And standing with me is the parliamentary candidate, Honorable Raphael the incoming member of Eminent clergy, imams, our ministers of state and members of parliament, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. God is good all the time, as they say. You will win life. I, at the time, I was contesting for the flag bearership of the MPP. Many people thought it will not happen. Many people said it was not possible. Many people didn't think the MPP will elect me to be the leader of the MPP. They said that the MPP had never elected a northerner to lead the party. And they also said Ghana had never elected a Muslim to lead the country. So it was not possible. But I said to them that if God says it should be, then that is what it is going to be. We look at the Bible and we look at the story of Cyrus in the Bible and how God used Cyrus to help the Israelites. And when God decides to use you for something to change a country, God can do it. And so God made it possible for me to lead the MPP and to lead the presidential candidate. As you all have seen, and I think Raphael talked about it. The evidence is very clear, very clear, that when it comes to development of the north and of Savannah, development has come more, much, much more, under the MPP than under the NDC. Yes. We have seen more development across. You come to Savannah, it is very clear we said that we needed to create a savannah region yes. to develop the region yes. and what we have done in creating the region everybody is now seeing the yes. impact of the creation you now have a regional house of chiefs you have a regional health insurance regional education office regional agric office all of those things are coming and we are asking for more and more development. And it is coming. And, and so I believe that what you see, whether it's in towns, it's in schools, it is in markets, it's in clinics, and cheap stand house, you are seeing a lot of development, roads, and so on. So we are very, very clear that under the NPP, we are seeing more development than under the NBC. We brought three senior high school education. It is helping everybody. We have brought back the teacher training allowances. We have brought back the nursing training allowances. And we have made TVET education also free. So it is very clear where the MPP is headed. And we are going to do more by the grace of God. I believe that if I have the opportunity to become president of the republic, we are going to do a lot more. I want to, to really help farmers and make sure farming takes place at a commercial level and make sure that we are going to see more technology in farming. I want Ghana to move away from a dependence on oil and gas in the generation of electricity to a dependence on solar power that God has given us the power of the sun to feed and we are going to bring in 2,000 megawatts 
Green Power has already started the solar program. I want to bring in 2,000 megawatts. That is more than half our consumption. And once we do this, we will be able to reduce electricity bills by 50%. And we will be able to move in that direction. Um, then I want to, to help bring the church and our Islamic institutions closer to government. I believe that government and the church and the faith-based institutions should become closer. And I therefore, normally when we think of our development partners, we think about the external development partners, the white people and so on. But I want us to consider the faith-based institutions as our development partners. And I want to designate all the faith-based institutions as development partners. They are building more schools, more hospitals, and therefore we want to give them the incentives to bring in more development. Ushe Ejima, Church Fone, Islam for Eye, Ewagana Ha, Obudin Putu Ubri, Eba. But yet, time for our external development partners duty. designation organization will be development partners and we will get um, the Atoso Abitese Munginam TSCNSA. We are not going to allow the practice of LGBTQ in Ghana. Your religions and Pinesu, your culture and Pinesu, and the Mimabai move, and Basso Gana, that yeah, 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 Pinesu, and that is it. Yeah, 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 the contributory air back. We are disabled persons with disabilities who can go to university and as a tertiary education, who can get a free under my Ghana is the most peaceful country in West Africa and is the about the third or fourth most peaceful in the whole of Africa. We need to maintain the peace of Ghana. But the key is religious tolerance. That we tolerate each other and make sure that Ghana keeps going whilst we, 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 we develop the country. The manifesto next month, it will come out. We will have a detailed program of action but I dare me to say, Miss Ramo, they say, maybe the deep president, Obia, who a Juma, my as vice president. And yes, sir, so say that we better say, Monfa, a Korean mammy, one of the women, Juma, a Juma, my year, Obia, let me at the dance here. Ghana, yeah, yeah, digital address, yeah, yeah, mobile money interoperability, yeah, yeah. Development fund, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Vice President to manage that, the party, and to move promoting me, and good president. Because <laughs> December <laughs> A few things in bowling. The the road you acquire a year fashion. Now a very very important road. Your new contractors no Asia here. Yeah, the Omo Eba. Before I ever to Aba, we will do a Juma Air Force. We will do a Juma Air Force. Um, we can also, we can say, um,